Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from Guitar Lessons 365.com. Today we're gonna to learn how to play In the End by Linkin Park. So this one's a fun one. What I've taken is the uh, piano part at the beginning, and it happens throughout the song a few times. Transcribed it for guitar, it's pretty easy to play as well. Um, and then you can go back between the actual guitar riffs as well, um, whenever you want. So we're gonna go through everything and the order that it appears in the song, and I am in dropped C sharp tuning. If you don't know what that is, that means you tune your whole guitar down a half step, then you put it in pretty much drop D, which since you're already half step down, makes it drop C sharp. If you're still you know, confused about those notes, look in the description and I'll have them written out for you, uh, which you tune each string to. All right, so that's, that's a tuning that Brad Delson liked to use, um, he likes to use a lot in, in Linkin Park's music. So um, let's take a look here with this little thing that I've transcribed for piano. Uh, well, I've transcribed it for guitar, it was on piano. So we have this. So it works really well. So let's start here at the seventh fret on the A and the fifth fret on the D. Now you can just pick that both strings with the pick. I like to pick the bottom note with the pick and then the, the note on the D string with my uh, middle finger. Now, it helps me to kind of make them almost sound like a piano because they hit at the same time. And then as you hold that, you hit the open B string twice to the G string, open G, once. Then we're gonna go down to this next little, so that's a little minor third there, we're gonna do a major third here, which is the fifth fret on the D, I mean it's on the D note, the fifth fret on the A string, and then the uh, fourth fret on the D string. Then from there, when you play those two notes together, just like hybrid picking what I just did, I pick the uh, D string uh, a few more times, back to that open G, so here it is. Then take it down, the same shape, down two frets. Pick those two together. Then you have that open B twice to the G string once again. So we have this so far. Then we're gonna take it, add the last chord, where you move back up to what you did for the second chord, and do the same picking that you did as well. Which is that fourth fret three times into the open G. So we have this all together. And just repeat. And then the actual guitar parts come in. And the verse is pretty much harmonics. And it sounds like this. So you're just gonna repeat those. So that's the fifth fret harmonic on the G string to the seventh fret harmonic on the B. So just right over that fret. Let those kind of ring together. And then you're gonna hit the seventh fret on the high E string. Then we're gonna go back through the harmonics again on the G, the fifth fret, and the seventh fret B. And you're gonna end it with a different harmonic. You're still gonna be the high E, but this time up at the 12th fret. So you just repeat that first seven on the high E, and then the 12th. All right, then we, get, we kick in the distortion, we build to the chorus. Over the chorus, those harmonics are still going on. Um, so you can really choose which one you wanna do. You wanna do the harmonic? Or you can do the chords underneath it. The chords underneath it sound like this.
All right, so that starts at this, it's just the uh, power chord is gonna be played with just one finger um, across the second fret on the low three strings. Then move it up the fifth fret. Then hit those three strings open. And then up to 10. So we have this two, five, zero, 10, and then open, open three strings and back to start over. Now, the last time you hear the, song, the chorus um, and the first time you hear the chorus, it sounds like he does this at the very end from the 10th fret. And then at the very end slides down to the 9th fret. And, the, and then when they play the second chorus, he doesn't do that. He holds on the 10th. And then it kind of takes it to the bridge section of the song. Uh, so that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a quick little... Now, when I see him play it live, it doesn't always go down to the ninth fret, um, but you can hear it kind of shift down on the recording. So I would do it. Um, it kind of goes with the vocals as well as well. All right, so let's talk about what else we have here. I don't think we have much left in the song here. Just uh, keep in mind those different endings. And when you get to the bridge section, it sounds like a different riff, but it's because it's the vocals are different, the melody is different, but it's the same uh, progression as the chorus. And then into the chorus, which is the same chords. All right, so it's pretty simple once you get it down, and that little um, piano part kind of works out really well on guitar. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to incorporate that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon from guitarlessons365.com.